Hello family, it's Dan Can, Daniel Hunt, the people's realtor. Welcome to the channel. Today is an exciting day. One, the weather is beautiful, and two, we get to show you a beautiful home built by Jay Anthony. This is the first time we are premiering this builder on the channel. This exquisite home has 10,800 square feet, five bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a resort style backyard to die for, an exquisite basement I can't wait for you guys to see, six car garage, guest home is 1500 square feet, two bedroom, two bath with an attached garage sitting on two acres at an asking price of 7.6 million. We are here in Lucas, Texas. This is the first time we're also premiering a home in Lucas, Texas on the channel. Be sure to stay to the end so I can tell you a little about this area and what it has to offer. Can't wait for you to see this home. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go. So before we enter the home, you see we're greeted with brick and stone exterior. And Dale, let's just get a full shot of this home so people can see the scale and just the beautiful facade of this home. You have just, I mean, perfectly manicured landscaping throughout the home. And one thing I love about this property is, is you have two driveways leading you into your property perfect spot to have an event here with your valet there right in front of the entryway plenty of parking spaces and i love the just i love the facade of this home you have plenty of light fixtures this property just looks beautiful at night and we're going to go ahead and look at the guest home first. As I said in the beginning, one thing I love about the guest property is, I mean, you have high-end finishes. I mean, it looks just as <laughs> amazing as the main home and it has an attached garage. Follow me. So here we are walking to the guest home. Our guest home, the outside is accented with brick loving the modern contemporary light fixtures and i think this was a really good idea because your guest house gets that indoor outdoor concept with the sliding doors so here we are in the guest home what a beautiful <laughs> guest quarters you have 12 foot 
vaulted ceilings with these beautiful white oak wood beams accented with wood texture tile plenty of recessed lighting i love the wood inlays to accent this back wall gorgeous stone with gas fireplace i mean this is a large <laughs> fireplace this has to be probably about a maybe 85 inch television set just to give you the scale the idea of the scale of this back wall wood accented beautiful high-end wood accented tile throughout the whole entire home and as we come to the left wing of the home we'll start here just to give you guys an idea of how large the laundry area is and like i said in the beginning of the video this comes with an attached the guest house comes with an attached garage now let me point out real quick this could be really a two-car garage you could fit a lift in here and if you had like a sports car of some sort and you wanted to get two cars in here which would then make that six car garage a seven car garage and then to my right we have our first bedroom of course they have this designed as an office because some of the sales associates do work out of here straight ahead we have a beautiful full bathroom quartzite for the countertops black fixtures and i just love this uh, decorative tile this kind of has a really shiny white finish tile here and just to give you an idea of the scale of this of the shower which is a really nice shower i think for a guest bathroom this is leading back to your living room area so you can get to your of course your um, guest would you probably use this bathroom as well and here we have the kitchen what do you guys think about this kitchen guys oversized island if you can fit four or more it's an oversized island very modern contemporary light fixtures here we have our five burner Bosch stove and oven with microwave vent hood loving the brass fixtures throughout the whole entire kitchen glass accented cabinetry huge oversized Blanco sink one thing I love about this space is you have so much natural light this is only 1500 square feet but guys this feels like it's almost, I would say, anywhere between 18 and 2,000 square feet. It feels like that just because of how much natural light you get in this beautiful guest home. Straight ahead, we have a real nice size full pantry. Bosch refrigerator. And before we enter the second bedroom, here we have a closet which would be perfect for guests your guest guest closet <laughs> right and here's our second bedroom now this one is a little bit larger than the one we came out of okay so this is the guest which whoever's your favorite guest would probably get this bedroom contemporary uh, fan and even in your guest house even in your, in your 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 bedroom here you still get I would say these are probably an eight foot ceiling what do you think Dan? these have to be at least eight foot ceilings Eight. at least eight foot ceilings and i love where it's positioned it stays to end because you guys get to see this backyard oasis i mean you get a beautiful view of your backyard but you got to stay to the end to check that out <laughs> that's my first favorite area in the whole entire house what do you think about this bathroom guys dual sinks quartzite for the countertops again brass fixtures loving the contemporary sconces they chose for this bathroom. I mean, everything just flows so perfectly. Oversized tub. I can tell I'm going to fit in this tub, guys, but we got to do a damn can test, right? Just to double check. <laughs> and an oversized tub in a guest house, guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> Definitely can see myself relaxing in that tub. And I just love this shower. This is a very elegant looking shower 
I love the tile they chose, J. Anthony tile they chose. Again, they stuck with the brass fixture theme. And really nice size walk-in closet. And here we have our water room. Let me know, guys, what you think of the guest home. Would you like to stay here? <laughs> I know I wouldn't mind staying here. So now we're going to go back in the front of the home so we can see the main home and enter through the main entryway. Follow me. So as we enter the main home, we're greeted with this beautiful front porch. You have your black slated tile leading you into your entryway, multiple seating areas. Here we have a place for two. You can get four here probably comfortably. Loving the fire pit here where you can get at least two, four, six people here. And I love this quaint seating area as well off to my left. I think four people here is perfect. Let's enter the home. So before we enter the home, we're greeted with this seven foot iron and glass accented door. And this is a huge door. <laughs> Come on in. So here we are in the foyer. And let me tell you, this is definitely a statement. <laughs> you have white oak wood floors throughout the whole entire home, but in the foyer, you have white oak wood floors with marble accents. And I think Jay Anthony did a remarkable job with this foyer. 22 foot ceilings, tray ceilings with LED lighting. Loving the modern chandelier they chose for this foyer. And to my right, we have an office. Now there's different things you could do with this space. This could be a seating area, but in my opinion, I think this, is, this being an office is perfect space. And one thing I love about this space is you have two storage areas, okay? You have one here and you have another one here. I love how they have it hidden and it just blends right in with the wall. Beautiful built-ins, loving the accent light fixtures and plenty of recessed lighting. Now as we enter the home, we're gonna to go to the left. Here we're greeted with a powder room. What do you guys think <laughs> of this accented wall? Porcelain wall, loving the sconces that they chose for this powder room, gives it a really ele elegant feel, quartzite, for the countertops, beautifully done. And here we have our formal dining area. Could you, could you see yourself <laughs> entertaining or eating with the family in this dining room? I think this is perfect. A lot of times on my channel I say, hey, you can maybe get 12 or you can get more. This was perfectly done. Seat, seat for eight, loving the light fixture. This is really simple but very elegant light fixture here. And I love this wine wall. This is lit quartzite to accent your wine collection. I think it was just perfectly done. More recessed lighting to really add focus onto your wine collection. Again, here you have more enough natural light. And to my left, we have a bedroom, which they're using as an office. Some of the cellists are using as an office. So I'll let Daniel B-roll that. They actually have a client there currently right now. Here we have a closet, which is perfect for storage and guests for their coats. Mudroom area, uh, where I think it's more enough space for a large family. You have plenty of hooks here, storage here for shoes and other things clothing below there. Now here is, this is also unfortunately locked off, but this is an office space that is over the garage, which you could use for a number of different things. Another office, another bedroom, uh, uh, homeschooling, so much you could do with that space. Now here we are in, this is actually the garage, but this is more office space 
uh, for the developer. This would be a six car garage. But of course, like I said, it's cool that you guys can see this because you can see how you can build it off if you want to use this as more space for your home. Okay. Hello family, so we are here with Tony, owner of J. Anthony. It's uh, really good to see you here. We, this was not actually planned. We actually no, were doing the tour yeah. and we happened to get you because he's a very busy man, so we're not gonna take too much of your time, but it's a pleasure that you have taken some time to, to, to talk to me and um, my YouTube family. So well, thank you for taking the time. We're, we're excited <laughs> to have you here. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, for, thank thank you. for coming out and, and showing our product. We're very proud of it. Thank you. Thank you. So we have, we've, oh, just on the channel alone, we have over 100 plus videos on the channel. Wow. And I can definitely say that this is one of a kind. I don't say that lightly. This is definitely one of a kind. Uh, the first product we have on the channel that has just an exquisite basement, which they haven't seen yet. So I can't wait for them to see that. But I'm just curious, what has motivated you or what was your, 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 what what drove drove you to to make such a beautiful property? Well, you know, I started uh, I started doing designs when I was 15 years old, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you know, originally I wanted to become an architect, and yeah. I, I realized um, early in the process for me to be able to design this stuff, I need to learn how to build it, and yeah, yeah. and uh, so you know, by by age 18, 19 years old, I mean, I was building houses and setting the world on fire and starting to become <laughs> you know who I'm supposed to be and yeah and uh, and then I never got out of it but I always loved that architectural side and you know even mm -hmm. today I mean I'm sitting here designing a house from a, you know for a customer on a wish list meeting and uh, you know my goal is to is to never have to tell them no but to take yeah. their ideas and to put them on the paper and and not always the first time do you get it right but to to listen to the back and forth and come up with something that's unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always like to say, you know, we've never built the same house twice. Well, see, I mean, you, 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 you are definitely can say you're a true custom, but I kind of want you to go in a little bit more into detail of the process. If someone wants to have a home built by Jay Anthony, sure. um, I'm very familiar with how much detail mm -hmm. you put into making their home truly one of a kind, but can you go into a little more detail and let uh, our viewers know exactly or a little bit more of what it what goes into yeah, in regards the to like the process yeah and stuff like yeah, that. yeah so you know it all starts with the lot right gotcha. I mean you know find the location I mean we've we've heard this years and years you know location location mm -hmm. is everything yeah but once we get the lot figured out and dialed in that where we want to do it um, we do what's called a pre-construction agreement which mm -hmm. is basically a lot hold it says you know what I think I like you I right. think you have the right product, <laughs> yeah. but let's get to know each other a little bit, right? And, uh, and so we start with a lot, mm -hmm. and then we do a, a $10,000 deposit. We make it 100% refundable for any reason. Yeah. That's the best. I remember you, I, remember you I, I was a little surprised when you said yeah. that. At the <laughs> it's a non-commitment commitment. Yeah. And basically yeah. my, my belief is, is that I haven't earned the right to ask a customer for their business, wow. right? Yeah. They need to know me. They need to know what I'm about, and they need to know how personal and how um, how personal this whole process is for mm -hmm. me. So, mm -hmm. I mean, not every customer is the right customer and mm -hmm. not every builder is the right builder. Right. And so until you can kind of get to know somebody, you don't really get that opportunity. So for me to ask for their business in the beginning, I just think is the wrong thing to do. So I make the, the deposit 100% refundable. Nice. And uh, and then I work really hard to achieve what they're trying to 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 do, whether yeah. it be for their family, their kids, their schools, you know, um, maybe they like to have, you know, uh, entertain a lot, you mm -hmm. know, that's mm -hmm. gonna be a little bit different type of design. Yeah. They wanna bring all the family together, kind of like what we did here, where you have yeah. the, the living room and the dining room and the, and the, the island is, or the kitchen is all one big space. Well, yes. that brings family together. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've really gotten away from having dinner at night, right? Yeah. I mean, we all run such busy lives, it's hard to sit down and have dinner. Well, this house yeah. kind of forces you to get it together does. and just have dinner together, right? And, it does. You know, those 30, 45 minute conversations, um, I think the world's a better place when we have it those. Is. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So, a lot of my designs are, are in that base. So, once we've got that concept of where we're gonna build, mm -hmm. then I literally take the lot and I design the house to that lot. That's a lot different than a lot of people do. I mean, yeah. you might have a tree uh, that you want to try to save. Yeah, yeah. You might have something ugly in the backyard that you want to block. Mm -hmm. um, you might have something like what we have here where there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And then we can create that feeling, yeah. that, um, that backyard experience mm -hmm. um, through the pool design, through looking at, you know, from the kitchen window, what do you see? Yeah. And then not only just base our design off of the house itself, 
but the outside experience as well. Nice, yeah. And I think we've done a good job of that here. Oh, a phenomenal you know, job. Bringing the outside <laughs> yeah, in yeah. And, uh, and making it feel like wherever you are in the house, you're still part of this whole entire design process. So yeah. that's kind of us in a nutshell. I mean, yeah. there's obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. a whole lot more it's to it. More, but I mean, no, as, yeah. much as, you know, as much business as you do, you can appreciate that. But yeah, yeah. Um, for the most part, that's really the, the nuts and bolts of it. Well, thank you, Tony. Thank you for your time. I know you're Absolutely. a busy man, Absolutely. but uh, I really, I really appreciate you kind of breaking that down in, in great detail for our viewers. And well, appreciate thank your time you so again. much. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the opportunity. No, thank to come you. By. Let's right. get back to the tour. Yes, sir. To my right, we have our laundry area. Really nice size laundry area. They did not. They didn't spare any expenses. Laundry area. Huge, huge farm sink. I mean, this is a enormous sink here more than enough space to fold your clothes so it doesn't do you won't do like i do a lot of times and put your clothes and it ends up going on a couch or on your bed <laughs> now i can't wait for you guys to see this primary quarters first off i want you guys to get the full effect right <laughs> check out these white oak wood doors with frosted accents, right? I really can really set the tone as you enter your primary oasis. I mean, guys, this is huge, huge king, oversized king bed with large dressers. I mean, just look at the scale of this room. Tray ceilings lit up with LED lighting. And this whole entire home has an amazing sound system. I mean, it really, really is perfect to set the mood right when you enter the home. Nice seating area to take in your backyard oasis. I can't wait for you guys to see that. And you have an exit to your backyard from here as well. Let me know what you guys think about this primary bedroom, guys. Could you see yourself waking up in that bedroom? Now, this is a first, guys. I can't wait to tell you guys about the details of this primary bathroom. What do you think about this light fixture? I mean, this is a one of a kind light fixture. I mean, this is, you can definitely tell that <laughs> they put a lot of detail in designing this room. You have porcelain floors throughout the whole entire bathroom. Beautiful quartzite sinks, again with brass fixtures. Of course, you have a nice seating area here for the, for the ladies to get their, their do their makeup or just to uh, uh, prep before you go out on a nice night of the town. Same thing for, of course, for a sink here. And huge shower, guys, huge shower. You have one, two, three, six, seven shower heads, guys. Wait, what is bathroom, Daniel? <laughs> I mean, porcelain bathroom. Exactly. And I can't get in this tub, guys, because there's water in it, but this is the first time, I think this is the first time, right, Daniel? Yeah. This is the first time that we have showcased an infinity bathtub. <laughs> I mean, this is just a work of art and just beautifully done. Let me know what you guys think of that tub in the, in the comments. I can't get in, but <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's good. I've seen nothing like it before. Here we have our water room. And this is a cool feature. If you have your dirty clothes, you can put them right here in your shoe and it takes it to the laundry area. Now let's check out workout facility, right? I love, you gotta have your workout facility uh, and especially in a home like this. And I love that they also put a filtered water feature here. You have plenty of space to have this, like I said, a workout facility, or if you wanted to put a yo studio, lots of options there. Straight ahead, I think perfectly positioned is you have your dog station, <laughs> right? And if you don't have pets, you can customize it however you want, as you can, uh, uh, as you understand and, uh, from talking to Tony that this is true custom built home. I mean, whatever you want or however you want to imagine it, they can make it happen. Now, for someone who loves fashion, 
I think anyone who is watching this tour can really appreciate, if you love fashion, can really appreciate this closet. This is a two-story closet, so more than enough space for two. Here we have downstairs, and follow me upstairs. And here we are upstairs, upstairs closet. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I almost want the whole entire closet. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> I mean, you have LED lights throughout your whole entire closet. I mean, more than enough space for two. Let me know what you're thinking about this home. I love interacting with you all. If you're interested in purchasing a J. Anthony home, definitely contact me. I can let you know about incentives that I can offer you. Text Lucas to the number below. L-U-C-A-S to the number below, and we'll get right back with you. And I love the brass and crystal fixtures for your cabinetry. I think that's a really elegant touch. Now let's go back downstairs so we can see the heart of the home and be sure to stay to end because I cannot wait to see what you guys think of this exquisite basement. So you know I love interacting with you all. Let me know if you can see yourself living in this home. We're walking through the foyer of your <laughs> primary bedroom. And before we enter the kitchen, I think I wanna show them the pantry. So let's start off to my left and show the pantry real quick. What do you think about this pantry? <laughs> I think this is more than enough space to store your food. And coming out of the pantry to my left, one of my favorite areas in this home. This is probably, it's a, it's a, it's a toss between my second and third. My first, of course, is the outside space, but you're gonna see that. The second would probably be the base, but you're gonna see that. So I would say this is my third favorite area. We'll start here with our commercial grade refrigerator, huge refrigerator. Six burner, gas stove, commercial grade stove. Huge quartzite island. This is, I, I love this quartzite island. This, I think this is a perfect, uh, island that they chose for this area. I think it accents the floors and just really breaks up this space because you have a lot of light tones in this room. So I feel like this island really breaks it up well. Huge block old sink. You have all brass fixtures here. Dishwasher. Huge vent hood with pot filler. Okay. Loving the white oak cabinetry with your black fixtures. And what do you think of the light fixtures here, guys? I mean, this really is just a elegant boss, just gives an elegant boss feeling to this kitchen. Here we have a wine fridge. And perfect for entertaining, so you don't mess up <laughs> your show kitchen, you have your butler's kitchen. I mean, even your butler's kitchen has high-end appliances. You have, of course, your uh, Thermador, dishwasher, huge farm Blanco sink again with brass fixtures, microwave, Thermador espresso machine with warmer, five burner gas Thermador stove and oven with another Thermador refrigerator. You also can get access to your backyard oasis from here as well, which I think is perfectly positioned. That way if you do have you know, uh, uh, individuals who are helping to entertain from your show kitchen, they can get right into your backyard and not have to go through the home. You have two sinks. You have two sinks in this kitchen. I love this sink because you get a great view of your backyard and this opens up so you can actually feel like you're a part of the fun. You don't feel like you're missing out on the fun <laughs> with everyone being outside. And I wish you guys could hear the sound system in this home. Again, like I said before, in the bedroom, you have 
amazing surround sound speaking throughout the home. Yes, this is a smart home, so you can control everything from the pad that you see here or from your phone. Now here you would have your dining area. Uh, we already saw the formal dining area, but I think you could get maybe 10 people. Here you see you have eight, but I think you could even get as many as 10 people here comfortably, no problem. Huge ceiling, I mean, I believe this is probably 12 foot ceilings. Again, you have your uh, tray ceilings lit with LED lighting, plenty of recess lighting. And I love this modern cathedral style light fixture that they chose for this room. What do you think of this fireplace, guys? Let me know. Marble accented gas fireplace. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I could definitely, this is, this is one of the fireplaces where you just sit with family and friends and just enjoy your backyard oasis and just fellowship, just have a great time. I think, they, I think where they have the TV here kind of off, kind of hidden to the side is a perfect space because if you don't want the TV on, to my opinion, it doesn't really overpower this space. So you can then take advantage of your media room, which I'm gonna show you that later. I know I keep mentioning that, but it's one of my favorite places in this home. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I want you to stick around. <laughs> More cabinetry here as we enter our, I believe, third bedroom. It's our third bedroom. Now, one thing I love about this floor plan is all the bedrooms are massive. Here we have a queen size bed with two full dressers, really high ceilings, more than enough natural light, and you even get a seating area in one of your either guest bedrooms or a kid bedroom. I mean, really nice size bedroom. Quartz again for your countertops with brass fixtures. Here we have high gloss tile with brass fixtures as well. And a really nice size walk-in closet. And remember guys, when I told you about the, the laundry chute, here you go. Put your laundry right there, takes you right to the laundry room. Now to our, I'm losing count down, the house is so big. This is now our fourth, <laughs> right? Fourth bedroom, queen size bed, two full dressers so you can see the scale of the home. Another air here for a nice little seating area. Laundry chute. Nice walk-in closet. All the closets are nice size for all the rooms. And I love that one with more of a lighter tone. I think Jay Anthony did a great job. He made every space unique, right? I see a lot of homes that everything kind of like flows the same, but this is a really unique bathroom. I think they did a really good job with combining the light tones <clears throat> with the dark tones. Again, we have quartzite, again, for your vanity, and with more of the darker toned fixtures for this bathroom. And I just love this hallway, white oak wood floor again for the hallway leading into your entertainment space, which we'll see in a moment. Now this is probably the one, this is probably the biggest bedroom outside the primary in the main home, okay? Loving the modern light fixtures. Again, plenty of recessed lighting. This has a king size bed with two full dressers. Loving, loving the wallpaper they chose. This is a really elegant feel, really elegant feeling bedroom. Large walk-in closet. Laundry chute again behind the lamp. And what do you think about this bathroom? Very elegant bathroom. Quartz for the vanity, brass on the fixtures. And I just love this design tile. It really gives the elegant feel. Kind of have more of a barn style sliding door leading to your tub and shower. Now for one of the entertaining areas. 
Can't wait to show you that. We're about to get there here, but we have another powder bathroom. Quartz, quartz side again for the vanity brass fixtures. Now here's an entertaining space, right? This is perfect for, I believe this is a good space if you have game night, right? You're watching sports, you're having friends over. We left earlier in your primary entertaining space. That could be more of an elegant feel. This is more, in my opinion, a casual feel where you just have people over for the game, and with all the natural light, it just makes this space feel even larger. Here's another quick entertaining space. You have your, as you enter here, you have your LED lit stairs. And this is a perfect space just to store wine. You have an ice fridge here, another huge farm sink. Beautiful view of your backyard oasis. This opens up as well. Nice little seating area here. And now for, I think Daniel, I said this is probably my, I can't remember if I said this is my second or third favorite space. <laughs> second space, right? Now this is the first time we are premiering a basement on the channel. Please let me know what you think of this basement. Now here we are in the basement. I could definitely see myself entertaining <laughs> in this basement. Loving the life picture they chose for this area. Really exquisite, very elegant. You have quartzite here for the countertops. Huge Blanco style sink. I think this is an amazing feature. You can put ice in here to keep your wine or champagne cold. Loving the built-ins that they chose here, the custom built-ins. And what do you think about this seating area? Now, there's lots of things you could do with this area. If you wanted to put a TV here, you could, but I think this is a perfect area just to have as a conversation room. Now, for one of my favorite places in this home, you have this beautiful, one-of-a-kind custom theater room. I mean, there's so many things I can say about this, 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 this theater room. What do you think about this, Daniel? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, with the custom LED lit wall here and ceiling, I mean, sound system. I mean, you can easily get 12 to maybe even 15 people in this space, depending on how you have it decorated. You have your wood beams with your LED lighting here as well. I mean, they just really took their time decorating this theater, theater space. Love how they have like your green wall here. Here we have a powder room. Again, quartzite for the counters and brass fixtures. And here's a game room area, game room area. Perfect for poker or pool, but I think poker is the perfect, <laughs> perfect, this perfect idea. I would definitely have this as a poker room, maybe a couple games along this wall. This is decorated perfectly. Plenty of recessed lighting, LED tray ceiling for this space as well. Is this not a fun space, guys? What do you think of this area? <laughs> now, to show you guys my other favorite space, the Backyard Oasis. Stick around. I can't wait to see what you guys think. Can't wait to see what you all think of this gorgeous backyard. So here we are at our massive backyard patio. As you can see, they have this space here for about five or six, which I think is perfect. One thing I love about this patio is the mist, the mist feature that they have back here. They have this designed perfectly well because it doesn't really feel like it's uh, 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 
You know how some mists are where you, they get on you and make you feel like real wet, right? You know, Dan, like this is just a really cool mist. I mean, it's perfectly done. Of course, you have your TV above your stone accented gas fireplace. And this is a feature that you could have if you want to open this up so you have an indoor outdoor concept so you can take advantage of your uh, primary living quarters you can do that as well wood accented ceiling for your patio there plenty of, of recessed lighting you have um, your heat warmers there so if you want to take advantage of this space at night when it may be cool or during the day, you have the option to do that. Bar seating here, which faces your kitchen. And here's a great entertaining space. You have two fridges, either wine or beer on tap. You have the option to do that with a gas grill. Now here's a feature I love about this back patio. If you wanted either more privacy or if you didn't want to let in the insects or mosquitoes, you have the option to close this off and screens will come down and you can still feel the breeze if you kind of still want to take care, take, take advantage of the weather, take advantage of the outside weather. What do you think about this space guys? I mean, <laughs> On a nice summer day, right? Jacuzzi. Beautiful resort style pool. I love the sunken fire pit area right in front of your pool there. Here's another seating area, right? I mean, it's just an, an, an entertainment oasis. I mean, this is where you definitely want to entertain. You have, I think uh, four is perfect for here. Another bar area, you can take advantage here. Take advantage of there. I mean, this is just a beautiful backyard. Let me know what you guys think about this backyard. Custom one-of-a-kind waterfall there. Love this seating area here. You can take advantage, just kind of enjoy your pool area. I love how they have this designed where you have turf throughout most of the backyard space here. Another seating area where you can take advantage of another fire pit. I mean, you can get 12 people here comfortably, no problem. This is a really nice, uh, detailed, entertaining space. And like I said, guys, this is two acres. In Lucas, 7.6 million, I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, beautifully, tastefully done. Here you have your miniature golf. <laughs> I actually got a couple of a couple of swings in, so you want to practice your putt your putt game. You have more than enough space to do that there. So let's talk about the Lucas area. We're minutes away from Highway 75. That will get you to downtown Dallas within about 35 to 40 minutes. We're also not too far from 121, which will get you to Legacy West, The Star, and also will take you to Dallas Toll Road, which will get you to Universal Studios. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think of the tour, what you think of this beautiful home. Follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Can, health, peace, and prosperity to you all, and I'll see you guys at the next tour. Bye-bye.